and welcome to Signature TV News Highlights for this Tuesday. I am Anita Eze. President Muhammadu Buhari has approved 13.3 billion naira for the takeoff of the community policing initiative across the country. The president made this known at the opening of a two-day mid-term ministerial performance review retreat organized to assess progress made towards the achievement of the nine key priorities of his administration on Monday in Abuja. Buhari stated that the approval was part of measures to consolidate efforts aimed at enhancing security nationwide, while stating that the Ministry of Defense had been instructed to create a modest military industrial complex for the local production of weapons to meet some of the requirements of the country's armed forces. The Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission ICPC has arraigned a former presidential aide, Okoy Obono Obla, over allegations of certificate forgery. The ICPC spokesperson, Azuka Ogugua, on Monday said that Obono Obla, who was the former chairman of the Special Presidential Investigation Panel for the Recovery of Public Property, was charged with two counts before Justice C. L. Dapoop of the Just Judicial Division of the High Court of Plato State. ICPC maintained its allegations that the former SPIP chair presented a fake result with a credit pass in English literature to the University of Joss, with which he secured admission to study law. Six women and nine children who were kidnapped in the northeast have escaped their captors on Monday after walking for six days through the bush to freedom. The 15 hostages were seized separately from the farming villages of Takulashi in Borno State's Chibok district and Kofure in neighboring Adamawa's Hong district several months ago. Three of the hostages, along with their five children, were seized during a raid on Takulashi in October last year, while the other three, with their four children, were abducted from Kofure in May. According to Zuari Gambo, Bornu Women's Affairs Commissioner. Nigeria on Monday recorded nine deaths from the coronavirus pandemic as well as 284 new infections across 19 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. The Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC, in an update on its Facebook page on Monday night noted that the new cases raised the total number of infections in the country to 207,000 978 and the death toll now stands at 2,756. The center added that 195,626 cases have been cleared and discharged, while 9,597 are still down with the illness. Germany continued their spotless record under new coach Hansi Flick and secured qualification for the 2022 World Cup as Chelsea striker Timo Werner scored twice in a 4-0 route of North Macedonia on Monday, just months after they slumped to a shock 2-1 defeat to the same opponent on home soil. Germany cruised to a dominant win in Cup J to increase their lead at the top of Group J to 8 points and secure their berth at next year's tournament in Qatar. Werner's Chelsea teammate Kai Havertz also got on the score sheet and Jamal Musiala scored his first international goal as Germany made its five wins out of five on the flick who took over from Joha Chim Louis after Euro 2020. That's the Signature TV news highlights. For details visit www.signaturetv.org and please do join us later in the evening for Signature TV news updates. On behalf of my producer Ifuna Ilodiaya, thanks for watching. I am Anita Eze.